So Maxon is killing one of my all-time favorite pieces of software ever. And no, it's not ZBrush. And I know that it's crazy that I say this, but it's ZBrush Core Mini. I know there's so many problems with it. I know lots of people hate on it. It's what I use to teach my high school students just the very basics because it is just so easy. It's so simple and it's really hard to screw up. So let's take a look. It says as of May 30th, 2025, ZBrush Core and Core Mini will be entering into limited maintenance mode, which is funny because I'm almost certain they have not done any updates to ZBrush Core in a long time. And I'm 100% certain that there have not been ZBrush Core Mini updates since like 2021, just nothing. And they did a handful on pawn release and then it was just nothing. So that's kind of funny. From this date, ZBrush Core will not be available for purchase and Core Mini will not be available for download anymore. That's right around the corner. If you don't have ZBrush Core Mini, I would go ahead and download it. It's super nice just to have something like on a work computer that, you know, you just want to do little sculpts, little doodles at work. It's very lightweight and it's just awesome to have on all your work computers, laptops, whatever. Super nice. That way you don't have to do the whole Maxon app and assign a license, de-assign a license or whatever, all that fun stuff. So existing users may continue to use the software. However, no new enhancements will be released. Monthly subscription license of ZBrush Core will renew until September 30th. Technical support for ZBrush Core will be provided until the same date. So if you have a subscription, your subscription and the software is going to stop working for ZBrush Core on September 30th. Okay, for more information, let's go over here. Can I still renew my subscription? As mentioned above, monthly license renewals for Core will stop on September 30th. Until that date, monthly renewals will still be available. Is there a new free version coming? Yes, as a part of Maxon's continued efforts to align the desktop and iPad versions, a new freemium hate that word, version of ZBrush desktop is on its way. So that's great that there's going to be something there to replace. I'm going to have to make another video talking about what I hope is in this because there's so much good with ZBrush Core Mini, even though it's incredibly limited. I know. Trust me, I use it. I know. Okay. Okay. Will there still be support? We already know that. Can I open files once Core and Core Mini has reached end of life? Once ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini have reached end of life, any Z tool, ZPR, or related Core or Core Mini files can be downloaded into the current, or excuse me, can be loaded into the current full version of ZBrush. So yes, but Core Mini is still going to work on my computer. Once, like, go download it, it's still going to work as long as you're not doing, like, subscription stuff for Core. Does this impact existing perpetual license users? Yes, there will no longer be any updates, bug fixes, or changes to Core Mini and ZBrush Core Mini. There ain't been any changes in a long time. As per the scope of support above, this would only be for re-downloading a software in accordance with ZBrush Core Perpetual License Agreement. ZBrush Core Mini will no longer be available for download after these dates. Will ZBrush Core be available in the Maxon app? No, it will be removed. If you need a very quick and light sculpting solution, even like I use the full version of ZBrush every day, but our school cannot afford 20 seats, you know? So I'm teaching these students ZBrush Core Mini. We get to do all the fundamentals. They get to get their feet wet with sculpting and it's a lot of fun and it's so easy. It's hard to break. Just go download it. 